Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Now today I'm going to be looking at the official new Raspberry Pi Imager from the Raspberry Pi organization. Up until now, the official recommendation from the Raspberry Pi Foundation was to use the Valina Etcher SD card flasher to burn your OS images to disk for the Raspberry Pi. Now they have their own version and it works with Windows, Mac and Ubuntu. To get your own copy, just head on over to the Raspberry Pi organization website. I've left links below in the description. Now I think this is a great tool as it will speed up and simplify the process of getting your operating system onto your SD card. The Raspberry Pi Imager will always have a list of all the current download options, ensuring you are always installing the most up-to-date version. Now at this point it's also worth noting you can also install your own custom ROM by downloading it separately. Once you've selected an operating system from the available options, the Pi Imaging tool will automatically download and install the software onto your SD card. Once it's done, all you have to do is pop it out your computer and pop it into your Raspberry Pi and boot up. So, in this video I'm going to show you how to get it and use it, all of which is quite easy and straightforward. Now I'm on a Mac machine so I'm going to grab the Mac version, but it also works for Windows and Ubuntu. Ok, once it's downloaded, click on it to install the DMG file and move it into your Applications folder. And let's find it in Applications and open it. From here it's pretty straightforward, we just choose our operating system. So the first option is Raspbian with a desktop. We also have other versions of Raspbian. Raspbian Lite with no desktop and a full version with desktop and recommended applications. And we've also got LibreOlec, LibreOlec for Pi 1 and 0 and for Pi 2 and Pi 3 and lastly LibreOlec for Pi 4. There's also an option for miscellaneous utility images and this contains a Pi 4 EEPROM boot recovery. The next option is to erase and format your SD card in FAT32 and the last item on the menu gives you an option to load a custom ROM. Just navigate to where you have it stored and select it. Ok, in this instance I'm going to use the recommended image, which is the Raspbian desktop. Next I choose the SD card I want it put on, and here I've got a 32GB card. And next you just click on write. Now the download is not any faster or any slower than Etcher. The benefit here is that when it finishes downloading, it will unzip it and write it to your SD card and then verify it without any interaction from you. Once it's finished verifying, you'll get the following message, that means you're ready to go. So I'm going to take my SD card out of my computer put it into my Raspberry Pi and boot up. And there you go, you're ready to use your new OS. Overall I'm impressed with this tool as it saves you a lot of time where normally you'd be fiddling around, finding web pages to download your OS, using different tools to flash. Here it comes all in one neat little package. Ok guys that's it for today, if you found this video helpful give us a like and maybe even a subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.